Okay, um, in the first video we just talked about the players involved here. We have AppFuse with the Struts2 um, framework, Struts2, Spring, and Hibernate. <coughs> We're also um, using the Struts2 JSON plugin along with the jQuery um, Struts2 um, plugins, which we have separate libraries for. Um, we're also um, using a demavenized version of AppView, so we're using the Maven um, way to actually create the application according to the AppView's instructions, and then we build a WAR file using Maven, and then we deconstruct the WAR file and plug it into a, um, an Eclipse um, web application. We have some custom libraries that we're holding our um, AppView's libraries and uh, our um, Struts2 um, jQuery plugin libraries along with the Spring LDAP libraries here and we're going to eventually plug this into an LDAP. Um, like I said, AppFuse comes with um, user um, role um, auth auth already plugged in. So um, one thing I, I forgot to mention I think in the first video also is that um, for our Oracle 10G database we're using one of the Oracle pre-built virtual machines. Um, I'm running that on another laptop uh, somewhere else and we're connecting to that. Um, you plug in to uh, um, the database via these JDBC properties so you can just make your configuration here um, and then this is also my LDAP configuration once we get around to plugging that in. Um, this is um, the properties that were supplied with AppFuse out of the box. I tend to keep everything um, separate like for example when we go down here you'll see that I copied um, the AppFuse um, spring security configuration and then I create an LDAP configuration and then I have a local configuration which is what I'm using now and this configuration basically has hard-coded user IDs I completely disconnect the database from it um, it's just easier in a development environment and then in a production environment we'll eventually switch over to our LDAP flavor and what I do is I have a separate security XML and then I just um, delete all of these records and then I copy and paste the um, configuration I want to use and then redeploy my application so um, just to give you a little bit of background on how you're configuring things here. So when you plug your database in, this is where you're going to have to make your changes to point to your database. Okay, so um, basically all of this is um, starting out with a model. So um, like I said, we're using Oracle, so we have our person SQL. And you'll run this against your Oracle database. Um, I use um, SQL Developer and I just copy and paste this in the SQL developer and run it and we're going to create um, the person um, database with the primary key and a unique email address and we're going to load some data into it and then set up our uh, sequence um, and have it start with of course the one higher than our last record. Okay. Now if we go look at our person model not sure I have that up here. No I don't. So let's go take a look at our model. We have a person model Okay, and uh, see here we have um, it configured for Oracle. So the generator value is going to be our sequence generator, and um, it's going to return a key um, when we have to create new records. And everything else is just pretty much the same as the AppFuse one. I tend to take out a lot of the extraneous stuff out of the column definitions and just leave the name. Um, I think it just makes it easier for maintenance in the long run. So, um, so all we had to do here is set up a couple of fields. We put in our sequence number and um, define our columns for uh, Hibernate. Then um, uh, once we have our person, then of course we need to have some kind of DAO that we're going to use to read it and write it and such. Now, um, AppFuse comes with generic ones that we're using here. So once we have our model built, then we can create our person interface, our DAO interface. And right now we're have, we only have two methods. We want to do a find by email so we can check for our duplicates. And then we have a get person criteria. And this is what's, this is what's going to make the jQuery pager fly. Okay. So 
and we're extending our generic DAO interface. Now our generic DAO is going to provide us all the standard methods that we would use in doing CRUD applications. So we're going to remove, we're going to save, does it exist, and um, the get method. And, and we're using a lot of these and some of these we're not. Like I don't think we're using the exists method, but we are using the one that we built custom for this, which is going to be fine by email. So a lot of these we're going to reuse, and some of them we're going to um, we're going to enhance this interface and add a couple of our own. The primary one being this get person criteria. Okay, so there's our generics. Now our interfaces are created, so we're going to go ahead and create our person DAO Hibernate. You see here, here's the the package scheme here. Our interfaces are here. Our Hibernate classes are here. This is where the actual beef in, is going to be. All the queries are going to be run from here. And then eventually we're going to create our ma our service managers that will can, can also be extended into our web services and we'll see that later on. So um, now we're going to create our um, DAO Hibernate and that's going to extend our generic DAO Hibernate which is um, basically the implementation for um, our generic DAO interface here. So you see we have a lot of those methods are backed and you know the get, the get all distinct, the get, um, the exist, the save, the remove, find by named query which is built in which is kind of convenient and then of course the one that we've created custom for jQuery and what this is going to do basically is handle um, creating the Hibernate criteria to do our um, paginated lists um, the other nice thing too is jQuery has a is built in with a searchable um, pager, so this is also handling the searching mechanism and creating the criteria based on those search conditions, and also the page results based on those search conditions. Because you could have two different page results. You have one page results which is everything, and you're paging all the records, and then you have another set of results where you're only paging what you've um, did your search on, and this can handle that. And of course. Um, this is also code based on some of the fields that we might have that we have to do data conversion on. Okay, so um, we're going to get more into this, you know, later on. Right now, we're just going high level here over the pieces. So here is our, um, you know, our custom DAO Hibernate, and then how we extended our generic DAO to to provide um, this method get app manager criteria which is basically going to be used by everything when, once we get into the actual app manager application which is what we're doing here see I'm only using the person demo because it's very simple then eventually we're going to get into the actual app